just like that! In his first two UFC bouts, Kamza the Boars Chimaev made 192 successful strikes while getting hit only twice. Such a beast deserves respect, yet there are those who dared to look down on him, questioned his victories, criticized his fighting style, laughed at his appearance, and promised to make quick work of the wolf. But Kamzat isn't the type to let go of such cockiness. So, who exactly are these cocky fighters? How did they disrespect the boars? And what did Kamzat do to repay such arrogance? Let's find out. Look, I'm expecting him to be tough. I'm expecting him to try and oppose his will and be very mentally strong, but in any of his fights that I've seen, he hasn't met real resistance. Let's look at the first fighter cocky enough to underestimate Kamzat Chimaev. Enter Gerald Mearshirt. So, who exactly is Gerald? This American fighter is a black belt holder in both kickboxing and Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Fighting primarily in the middleweight division, Gerald has years of experience in the world of MMA with professional bouts starting from 2007. Before coming to UFC, he had also fought under three other promotions, the FCC, Madtown Throwdown, and Combat USA. In October 2016, he even got the RFA middleweight title by winning against Chase Walden. So. By the time he was scheduled to fight Kamzat Chimaev in September 2020, he was already a seasoned warrior with 44 pro fights and 31 wins. But what's more impressive is that nearly 75% of all these wins came from submission. That is insane! His superb grappling, ground and pound, and choking abilities make him a difficult opponent for anyone. Gerald the Machine is no dud, but so isn't Kamzat Chimaev. This wrestler turned mixed martial artist quite literally wins everything he does. He has a thirst to fight and absolutely hates losing. He is the prime example of what happens when natural talent works hard. His perfect winning streak in pro wrestling speaks volumes about his wrestling and grappling abilities. Plus, Kamzat's ground and pound game is one of the scariest in all of mixed martial arts. His hands are like hammers and boy does he know how to swing them. This crazy Chechen wolf is one powerful fighter. Kamzat's fighting record also tells the same tale. By September 2023, the Boars had already won all eight of his pro MMA bouts, defeating strong opponents like Ikram Aliskarov and John Phillips. But what's reached the third round? The wolf ended most of these fights within the first three minutes and all came from either his opponents submitting to his might or getting knocked out. So, by 2020, Kamzad is already a respectable MMA warrior. But, Gerald Mearshirt felt that the Boars was not worthy of the respect he was getting. Kamzat to him is just a little kid who is predictable, lacks variety in fighting style, and never faced any real opposition. He felt that the 8-0 record came only because Kamzat Chemaev was pitted against weak opponents. So, yeah, in his arrogance, Gerald not only disrespected Kamzat, but also looked down on Ikram Aliskarov, John Phillips, McKee, and all the other fighters the Boars won up against in the past. But that's not all. Gerald also positioned himself as the kryptonite that will finally stop Kamzat's Superman-like rise by using the wolf's strengths against himself. He also made a very arrogant promise. Gerald promised that Kamzat would be hurt during the fight. He will make sure to hurt Kamzat so much that it will take six months for this Chechen fighter to recover. Big words indeed. So what happened after all the trash talk? Did Gerald defend these big claims in the octagon or did he fall short? Well, Let's put it this way, the self-proclaimed kryptonite and the punisher of Kamzat could only stay in the ring for 17 seconds. Yeah, you heard that right, only 17 seconds. With all the trash talks that he did, one would assume to see a very confident Gerald Mearshirt in the octagon, but he seemed very hesitant from the get-go. As soon as the ref signals the start, Kamzat advances with an aggressive body language, a clear desire to smash his opponent. But Gerald's body language tells a different story. He lets himself get cornered from the start and keeps circling the octagon to avoid Kamzat's wrath. But the so-called kryptonite failed at that too. Bam! An earth-shattering punch to the face. Gerald's legs gave in, and he fell to the ground. With one punch, the wolf knocks out the cocky fighter. Just look at this strike. Can it get better than this? The ref called the fight, and Kamzat the boar's Chimaev came out on top by destroying the cocky fighter with a one-punch knockout the perfect response to all the disrespect. How sweet is that? Gerald promised Kamzat would be too hurt to fight for the next six months. Well, it looked as if the Boars was ready to fight again. This Chechen fighter once again proves that he is not someone to take lightly. In the cage when I look at him, he don't want to be there. I said that directly. Uh... And this comment perfectly captures Gerald's condition. Oof, 
He's eating a whole buffet full of words now. One would hope that this experience would humble the cocky fighter, but alas, some people do not know how to learn their lessons. In a post-fight interview, Gerald expressed his desire to fight Kamzat again, saying the next fight will not be about winning. Rather, the goal is to beat the snap out of Chimaev. Talk about arrogance. So, folks, what do you think will happen if these guys get into a ring once again? Would Gerald be able to back his big words, or would he crumble just like before? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section. While Gerald kept pondering over the past, Kamzat went on to have two more victories against Li Jingliang and Gilbert Burns. After such a streak, it's difficult to imagine anyone else looking down on this fighter. Well, that is until Kevin Holland enters the scene at UFC 279. He likes the f***ing media. I feel like, you know, he only does this extra wannabe street shit when the media's around. Other than that, he doesn't do it. Kevin Holland is a welterweight fighter and a black belt holder in both Kung Fu and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. By the time he was scheduled to fight Kamzat, Holland had three times the experience in pro bouts. From March 2015 to June 2022, Holland had already participated in 31 pro bouts, winning 75% of them. In Kamzat Chimaev. In his arrogance, Holland said that a fight with Chimaev was a step down for him. He went on to say that Kamzat Chimaev only acts dangerous in front of the media. The wolf is no gangsta at all. He also promised to, and I quote, I'ma bang that boy up, but fate had something else in mind. Instead of Holland banging the boy up, the and then to tap out. After much talk about how this fight is a step down, the cocky fighter had to submit to the might of the wolf. Kamzat wins the 12th consecutive pro bouts. Even in the face of all the disrespect, Kamzat Chimaev never lost his confidence and just focused on the fight. And the rest is history. The moral folks, let the people talk, sure. Kamzat was never silent in the face of the disrespect, but he gave the loudest replies through his fights. He always does. Kamzat is a beast of a fighter deserving of respect and our attention. Click on this video to witness all of Kamzat Chimaev's incredible fights in the world of MMA.